Greetings, Internet. It is I, Chris, back at you again with yet another jumping puzzle. Uh, you probably already know which one it is from the title, but we are going to do... Let's find it here. The one called Wayans Revenge. It's all the way in the bottom here. W. There we go. Wayans Revenge. Now, you might ask, hmm, where do I find this jumping puzzle? Well, I'm actually already here. It's over right this um, vista here. So what you do, it's in Lion's Arch. Might want to point that out. Lion's Arch, as you can see here, uh, gets a bit obstructed. Yeah, Lion's Arch. Then you go to the waypoint called Fireshore Waypoint. Teleport to that. Now this um, jumping puzzle, I mentioned it last time as the pirate jumping puzzle. Um, this is probably my favorite one. It's um, it's one of the first ones I did. It's not the first one, but it's one of the first. The first one I did was um, s something with floating stones in, uh, in the starting zone of uh, this race that I'm playing as. I'm not really sure what the race is called, honestly. Uh, it's a long time since I've played this game seriously, so... Okay, so you can see right now, I'm just trying to get up to this roof here. So, right here, oh, wow, that is new, I think. Uh, but, I can just show you on the map, right next to Tuk's Mill. And then, as I got here the first time, I mean, we uh, wanted to do, me and my friend, we wanted to get this vista up here, but we had no idea how to get it, so... I accidentally fa fell down here, and then I thought this was quite suspicious looking, and it turns out you can actually walk through this shrubbery right here. Right, so you just continue up, and here's yet another <laughs> well hidden. Well, not really well hidden, but yeah, you get my point. Um, but yeah, so you so you get to this point here where it's sort of like an opening, and uh, you just jump onto these rocks here. Now, as of yet, it's not very interesting. Oh, fell down. It's not very interesting just yet, but uh, the moment we reach the top is when things start to get fun. Right, so you can see here's the vista. And then... So, as you might have heard there, um, a voice beckons you to come into this. It looks like massive mouth or something. But a voice beckons you and it's the voice of Captain Wayne. So, we just go down here. Try to avoid the rocks if we can. Yes. Excellent. And land in the water. It's a massive beast here, or at least the bones of one. So, Captain Wand or his ghost. I'm not sure if it actually comes to us. Yeah, there it is. Captain Wand's ghost will talk to us. Um, he will try to guide you through uh, through this place or pretend to guide you through this place his goal is actually to um, keep you trapped here so you can see here we have a uh, here we have a maze we can go through uh, I, I could talk to his um, ghost and follow it along but he's very slow and it takes forever Intentionally, he leads you the wrong way all the time. So, we are going to take the one to the left. And, whoa, we are at a dead end. But wait. Fake wall. And there's another fake wall here. And another fake wall here. So, after passing through that, we get up to this higher point. And you can see, actually, if you look down, 
this is the entire maze. So even if you go through the first fake wall, there's still a lot of things. This is also a fake wall, I think. But um, yeah, first time I did this um, with my friend, it took forever. Because we had no idea that they actually would intentionally use fake walls. So it's quite interesting, but it gets better as we progress up this slope here. It's a little bit tricky though. So here you can see it starts to get uh, really interesting because now we have stone work here. So you have to run through the middle here. This one is not too dangerous. But um, a bit later it will get a little bit tricky. Now here, this cannot be avoided, but if you jump over this... Okay, I actually avoided it. But usually this will uh, trigger and hit you, as you can see there. So that happens if you're too close to the walls. Now, it's gonna happen again. I wanna try not to die here. Would be a little bit sad if I did. Now here, it gets a little bit tricky. You have to wait for the front ones here to uh, move. So, right now. And if you're not fast enough, the spikes will actually catch up to you. There you see. And that's the ghost again. So he will just follow you around. It's, um, it's quite entertaining actually listen to his voice. But he's not very helpful. Okay, here is... Um, it, it's very uh, easy this all the way through, but here it gets a little bit um, unforgiving because you can potentially fall down and if you do you have to go all the way back. So that sucks and we don't want to do that. Oof, just made it. Okay, so we just continue up here. Follow along this path. And soon we will get to the dark room. Yes, this is the dark room in here. You might say, dark room, that's uh, strange. So we go through it and boom, that light in the middle just disappeared. But if we look over here, um, you can see this torch. So take the torch with you. It will light up a little bit, um, but that's not what we're going to use it for. You can see here, I know this is here, but the next one... I press 3, that was the wrong one, I press 2 then, there we go, 2, 2 throws the torch forward to the nearest one. This was changed because um, previously you would uh, throw the torch yourself, but it makes it a little bit easier when it's guided for you, and you just want to get up to that. Okay. Now it's where it gets tricky again. Just drop the torch. No one, let's just take it with us. This is a test, he says. Dead man's drop. He gives you a clue. Just remember where you are, and that will be your answer. Now. I didn't really listen to this, but I had the same mindset, and that is, um, this guy here, he's intentionally trying to trap you within his place, so of course he would uh, use color symbolism, but reverse it. So usually green is good, blue is also good, and red is bad. But I thought, hmm, he's trying to trick us, so I'm gonna go red, because that's usually bad, but in this case it's good. So you can see, if I had chosen blue I would have fallen straight down and onto these rocks and the water is not deep enough so I would have died and the same with green so you can see I made it so now we're in this cavern thing here the jumping puzzle is over now you will get your achievement the moment you set foot here and then you can see Captain Wayne this here as well you can talk to him 
and he tells you you won't be able to escape even though you found his treasure. And there's two ways to escape, you can either use the actual exit or you could uh, teleport out. But the actual exit you can see is just this hole in the wall. And as we walk through it he will be very stunted, or stunt or whatever. Um, and uh, brag about how you are not his type anyway. And um, this is actually the finish, it entered a waterfall, but you can see there's this guy here called First Mate Shane, he will um, he will sell you pirate weapons. Can't remember how to, uh, how do I inspect things? Uh, no, uh, right click, right. You can see there's, for example, he sells all kinds of um, weapons. So. If you like these types of weapons, that's good for you, and you can buy these things. Some of them are pretty, other, well, not so much. But yeah, we have this waterfall here, and we just go down here, and then we're in the water and we're in the clear. As you can see, this is the way we went, up here, into this, through the fake wall, through the fake wall, up, up this thing here, and then up to the vista. And then all the way through, and you can see it's actually already marked. So we went through like this, and then all the way through this here. So it's quite a long and also hidden jumping puzzle. And I really like the theme of it, which is why I personally have it as my favorite one. Next time, um, when I do another jumping puzzle, I might do um, one which is. Uh, which is um, a little bit more difficult. The last one I did, um, Goem's Lab, was uh, was not too difficult, honestly, but it was still a lot of fun. It was medium difficulty. This one here was um, easy difficulty. The Riven Rook thing I did, or oh, Riven, no, what was it called? Riven Rook? Riven, no, Raven, Raven Rook, Raven Rook. Uh, let me let me just find it here. Uh, Raven something. Uh, no, oh, Griffin Rook, alright. The first one I did, Griffin Rook run, that was some um, medium difficulty, but with the bomb it was definitely hard di difficulty. But uh, yeah, I might do one that's really hard next time, just to show you. So, yeah. I hope you li liked this video here. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and or a comment. Always nice to have a comment. If you um, want to suggest a jumping puzzle I should do, maybe one you want me to see how fast I completed, or maybe you want to have a guide, although there are already thousands of those on the internet. But maybe you want to see me go through one. Um, but yeah, leave that in the uh, comments and I'll, and I'll take a look at those. But next time I, I have one in mind already, so... I'll do that one next time. But until then, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified about future uploads from me. Bye.